Hi, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTracker.com. Today we're going to install the M4 Cat Eliminator or Muffler Box Eliminator on our 2015 STG Yamaha YZFR1 Project Bike. Okay, you're able to install this pipe, remove that muffler box, and reuse your stock canister. It's going to give you three-quarter system-esque performance, and all you got to do is buy this, right? And I'm kind of curious to hear what this bike will sound like with this free-flowing pipe and the stock canister with the muffler box removed. Remember, we pull the catalyst off, a lot more flow for the exhaust, you know that. We're gonna lose a lot of weight. We'll actually weigh both pieces on the scale as we go through the project and let you know how much weight loss we enjoy. So lose some weight, gain some performance, great stuff. Also, be prepared to deal with this as you go through the project, right? This is our exhaust servo. We've got our cables, they hook up to the muffler box right here, it's a good servo motor. When this is all disconnected, all right, you're gonna have an engine trouble light. You're gonna to wanna to take care of that. We've already got a video on the site and on our YouTube channel that shows you how to do that. Uh, we installed the ScooterNet exhaust servo buddy. You plug it in to where this used to plug in, right under the seat, piece of cake, and it keeps that trouble light off for you. So, eliminated previously, look for the video. Okay, to begin this project, you notice my bike's already in, in racetrack trim, right? I got race bodywork on it. No, I've not been riding my motorcycle with that giant catalyst in there, all that heat in the race bodywork. You don't want to do that. You should have some type of system or pipe in place so you're not overheating your fairings. When we come back, I'm going to have the lower fairing off the bike. We'll give you a good close-up look at the muffler box and we'll begin disassembling. Okay, M4 includes with the pipe. There's some great instructions, right? We've got pictures, we've got packing lists, we've got the whole shebang here for you. So it's really nice, very clear, easy to use. You can also use this video as a guide to help you through it. Additionally, there are two clamps included, right? We have the ability to use both stock O2 sensors and there is also the ability to install a larger diameter aftermarket oxygen sensor if you're going to have an auto tune or something like that on the motorcycle. So it comes with the necessary hardware to install the cat eliminator. We're going to begin back here by removing our stock canister, 5 millimeter T handle to loosen the clamp. You will reuse this stock clamp. So loosen that up. Got our mounting hardware here for the factory canister. Remember, be kind to this by putting it back on. So we're not going to throw it around. Put that down lightly. That is already very lightweight, which is really nice. Okay, now oxygen sensors, dealing with the O2 sensors. I've put five exhausts, I think, on this bike already, so you guys already know I'm going to twist the wires. And after all those installs, we still have no issues. So. What I like to do is, instead of going through all the hassle to pull everything apart and disconnect this, what I like to do is, it takes the stress off down here. I kind of try to really twist the wires more in the middle, right? And wind it as I go. So it's the entire wire that's being twisted. There's really no tension on it. I mean, technically, should you do this? Eh, probably not. However, this is something I've been doing for probably over 20 years, never had an issue. So I got this O2 out, we have one on the other side as well. Here is our clamp on the stock muffler box, it's a 10 millimeter, the socket and the ratchet here, use a wrench too if that's what you have. Okay, staying on this side of the motorcycle, we have our stock mounting hardware for the muffler box. Go ahead and loosen that up. There are three stock mounts. Okay, we're going to reuse a lot of this hardware, so keep it to the side. Never throw any bolts away. Remember that always keep and put them in your spares. When you install this muffler box, you are circumventing the emission system on the motorcycle. So, in theory, technically, right, that could be in violation of some EPA 
regulations it really depends upon your area so this is technically a closed course only modification on this side I'm going to take the wire loom holder out here allow me to twist the wires a little bit better and we'll do the same thing with this O2 we did on the other side Getting ready to head down to Daytona to ride with the folks from Team Hammer. We're giving away that uh, Suzuki to Jarius Washington, our bike winner. We're going to ride with him, hang out for the day. I have a little new exhaust on the R1 for that trip. Now we've got a clamp over here for the muffler box. You don't need to remove these bolts, just go ahead and loosen the tension on the clamp, like so. Just a little bit more. And our final mount. And now this will allow us to remove this gigantic muffler box. Now remember, I want to stress if you haven't already eliminated your servo, you're going to have to deal with the cables on the other side. It's a really basic thing. It's super simple. And once again, like I said, we have a video where I've done all that. You can watch that. It'll walk you right through the process. Now the muffler box, I'll support it underneath. Wiggle and pull back. All right. It does have some weight to it, so don't just let it go. And there you have it. We are ready for our install. All right, we went over and we weighed the systems, the pieces. You are going to have a 12.4 pound weight savings when you eliminate that ugly, gigantic muffler box. And remember, we're still reusing our stock canister with it. And this thing is extremely lightweight. To open up, what we're gonna do is we're going to install the plug for the aftermarket sensor. All right, we're not going to be using that, so I'm going to get some anti-seize, which is supplied. Because of the dissimilar metals here, we will put just a little coating in case we have a change of plans down the road. Instead of getting this stuff all over your fingers, I like to use a rag. And we'll throw this into the pipe. Obviously, we want to make sure this is going to be tight. So you do not have an exhaust leak. Okay, now for mounting, we will be able to eliminate this mount right here. So we've got just a couple of uh, five millimeter Allens in there. We'll remove this, get a little clutter out of the way. The one on the other side uh, could be eliminated in theory, but it is cast into the kickstand and shifter mount, so we will leave that as is for now. Okay, so we've got that off. Now, once again, with the anti-seize, we want to put a light film of anti-seize inside the pipe where it slides over the other. This just makes it's a lot easier to pull it apart in the future. You know, say you're going to do some maintenance on the motorcycle, you have some crash damage, whatever the case may be, right? Just allows you to get it back apart again. Takes very little to accomplish that. Just a very thin film will be sufficient. Before we start this motor motorcycle, I'm also going to clean all of my fingerprints off the pipe. Okay, that is titanium, and if we leave those fingerprints on there, they will essentially discolor the pipe and kind of cook into it. Okay, got it lubed up. Remember, clean all your fingerprints off this titanium pipe as well as the header before you start the motorcycle. Very key, so you don't burn the fingerprints in. I found the easiest way to install this, right, was to kind of get it started lightly on the other side and hold it back here and then kind of give it like a a little pull this way while putting some forward pressure and then I'm going to slide it on 
up to the clamps. I will get the clamps in position here. We'll go over to the other side and do the same thing for now. We'll start off with our mounting hardware. We're going to reuse one bolt. And they have a supplied nut. Slide that in there like so. You could use thread locker there if you choose to. You know, the, the clamps, I think what I want to do, I think I want to position them just like this so that the clamp is down and even on both sides. Now for the O2 sensor, I am going to wind the wires in the direction opposing the tightening of the sensor so that essentially as it's threading in, it's unwinding the wires and taking all the pressure off. Okay, down there hand tight. We'll go ahead and snug that up right now. No reason not to. Okay, I'm going to go over to the other side, position the clamp, and get the O2 sensor in. Okay, grab the clamp, slide it right over like so. You want to get it so that it's primarily you know, on the end right, of the pipe, just a little bit of pipe showing through. Grab this O2 sensor and twist it up. Remember, like I said earlier, I've done this. Okay, this is, this is a good six, seven times now, okay? And that's not if, if that's if you don't count putting the motorcycle back to stock before shooting the exhaust video. So and we've had zero issues with these sensors. So you take that for what it's worth. If you want to go through the trouble of unplugging everything, not a problem. Do what you feel is right for yourself and your motorcycle. Go ahead and snug this up. A little wire loom dealy over here. Slide that back in. Keeps everything off the shifter. Okay, like so. And make sure that we come up here and just address some of the slack that we have down through the bottom, a little additional slack, like so. Okay, so it's positioned nicely, it's all out of the way. Now, I'm gonna give the pipe back here, and wiggle, make sure everything feels cool. All right, that's up against the mount. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the barrel clamp. That's just a five millimeter T handle, nothing exotic. We'll do the other side. Make sure it's positioned well. Go ahead and snug that up. Okay. Now we've got our mount. Grab our T-handle, backup wrench. Snug that up. Okay. Good to go. We are ready for the canister. Slide the canister in place, and we we'll use the same mounting bolt that I had on here previously. I'm sure we're all the way forward. We are. Let's slide that up. Our factory clamp being reused. Okay, next up, cleaning the pipe. You can use WD-40, I believe that works pretty well too. I had brake cleaner handy, I don't think I have a can of WD-40 out here, so this has worked pretty well for me in the past.
just give you an idea, that's the greasy handprints that came off of the pipe. You'll always end up with a little bit of discoloration, but you want to try and minimize it. Okay, uh, we'll throw the lower fairing on and when we come back, we're going to start the bike and we'll see what it sounds like with the cat eliminated and the stock canister on the motorcycle. All right, here we go. We ran the bike for a minute and warmed the motor. Okay, so we can rev it a little bit, but here is what it sounds like with the cat eliminated and the stock canister. Pretty sweet, pretty gnarly exhaust note on it for sure. I mean, that is completely unrestricted now. So you're gonna get some power gains off it. You save a lot of weight. I think this is a great option for riders who, you know, you wanna get rid of that cat. You wanna go do some track days with your bike, right? And I could even see a rider installing this to go to the racetrack with a race bodywork and stuff on, right? coming back home and say, you only do a few track days a year, but when you're there, you want all your street stuff off, right? You want your race body works. Then you could, when you get home, take that pipe off, put your muffler box back on if you want for the street, if that's too loud for you, and then go ahead and put all your stock stuff on. Conversely, you could also use that on the street, right? If you're cool with that note and you want to get that unrestricted performance, you could put that on the street. Remember, you got the little EPA deal and that's your personal choice how you're going to deal with that. This will also, because remember, this is the stock canister, putting this pipe on allows you to use any slip-on on the market, okay, that works with that stock muffler box, okay, should also fit on this M4 cat eliminator. But remember, it's going to be a little to the loud side. That's a stock canister that you heard there. So that's how much that muffler box really muffles the motorcycle. This is our M4. Cat Eliminator install on our 2015 STG Yamaha YZFR1 project bike.